Welcome to Video Benchmarks! Today we are going to have a look at how much does a graphics card influence the time it takes to export a video. Our sample is one minute long timeline with no video effects. This test will be done in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. Our footage is in 1080p and 4K resolution and it was shot with Sony A7R 2 camera. We will be testing three graphics cards, one integrated and two dedicated. The rest of the components will remain unchanged throughout the entire test. But let's talk specifics. Our computer base is the Lenovo ThinkCenter M81 that we have reviewed by Ago. If you want to see the exact specs, click up here. Our first graphics card is the one that's integrated on our Intel Core i5 2400 in series processor, the Intel HD 2000. Let me mention up front, Premiere was not able to utilize this graphics card for Mercury playback engine acceleration. Exporting the 1080p sample took our computer 3 minutes and 35 seconds. The 4K sample took 9 minutes and 28 seconds. Now let's put in graphics that's a little beefier. AMD Radeon HD 6670 with 480 processing cores. Premiere did show that this graphics is being used for Mercury playback GPU acceleration. Here the 1080p render took 3 minutes and 34 seconds. The 4K sample took 9 minutes 22 seconds. What? Did you notice that too? There's basically no difference in the export time despite the fact that the GPU acceleration was on. Okay, but let's calm down here and see what our last graphics card will do like. We put in NVIDIA GTX 460 with 336 CUDA cores. This graphics card is the most powerful one we were able to get for this test. This time Premiere also showed that it's using it for GPU acceleration. Now you must be as impatient as I was. So how long did it take with this one? The 1080p sample took 3 minutes and 33 seconds and the 4K sample took 9 minutes 18 seconds. At this point I was like, what? What the fudge is going on here? Let's look at the chart to see all the results together. Do you see that guys? There is barely any difference. The few seconds difference cannot be attributed to the graphics card for sure. There would have to be way more significant difference. And of course, each time we put a new graphics card, we made sure it's installed properly and has all the drivers. So what's the conclusion here? At this point I think the explanation is that Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 does not utilize the graphics card when rendering timelines with no visual effects added to the video. Given what we learned today, I think we should do another round of video benchmarks, but this time with a video that has visual effects added to see if the graphics card makes a difference then. Would you like to see that happen? If yes, hit that like button and it will be an indicator for us to go ahead. Not to miss out on this video or any others, feel free to subscribe. And that's all for now folks. May the video editing patience be with you.